What's up guys? Uh, real quick intro because it's early and I gotta go pick up Crozy because we are heading to Grand Isle, Louisiana. So it's about a 13 hour drive from here. We go usually every couple years to catch um, big bull reds. They run up there this time of year on the beach and in the backwaters and all that. So we've never actually gone this late in the year. It's December. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if it's any different. But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna pick up Crozy. We got like a it's like 13 or 14 hour drive there. We'll get there tonight and then we're gonna start fishing in the morning. So let's do it. Luxury at its finest. We're gonna eat and then go to sleep and then wake up in the morning and go fishing and we'll see you guys then! Normally, you probably want to read the beach and blah blah blah, all that. But I'm lazy, I don't feel like doing all that. So I'm gonna throw out right here. Alright, so we throw big chunks out here. You can come out and throw some shrimp and some small chunks and some live bait and all that and you'll probably catch some nice slot reds and some sea trout but I don't really want to catch any of those. We pretty much just come here to catch giant bull reds so that's what we're after. It would probably be better for YouTube if I was to catch a bunch of little stuff but I don't really care. It's not what I want to catch. Alright so this is the Daiwa BG30. I think it's 50 pound mainline, and then I'm using a 60 pound liter, six ounce storm sinker, whatever these are called, I don't know. And then we wear waders, we wade out to the first bar, and then we cast from there. You could probably get away with just casting from the beach. Um, it just seems like this works the best for us, so this is what we do. Gotta shuffle them feet, watch out for them stingrays. And we're far enough. Oh, and then this is a 12 foot old school Ocean Master Heaver. I wish they still made these rods, but they don't. Now we're gonna walk it back to the rod holder. Oh, that was that was weird. I felt like it got hit. And you set it in the rod holder. Reel up your slack. Oh, it's already hit. Yeah, that's a fish on it. Yeah, we're already on. I didn't even get it in the rod holder. <laughs> Feels like a drum. That was fast. Yeah, that's a drum. Definitely a drum. Feels like a redfish. Black drum feel a little different. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I thought I felt it get picked up there. It's a redfish. Small or big boy? Uh, I don't know. You can't tell with these rods, dude. Yeah. It's coming in pretty quick, though. Nice red. Huh? It's a red. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, surf them in. He's not really giving up yet. Come on, buddy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. There you go. It's that easy. Come to Grand Isle. Throw a mullet chunk out. You're guaranteed a redfish, pretty much. Anytime after October. Okay, get back in one. Yep. All right. Let's get another one. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the St. Croix Premier out. This is 11.6. It's got good backbone, so you can still bring the fish in quick, but the tip is a lot more sensitive. It just, it's a, it'll be more of a fun rod. You can feel a lot more with it. And then on this, I have my Accio 666, and this is 40 pound mainline, same leader, all that, yada yada. This reel's really good. I don't ever have to worry about backlash or anything with it. Hopefully, we make it back to the rod holder. Get your drag set. Turn the clicker on. And now we wait. Got it, the red. Turn that 
quick row. Yeah, this route is much more fun. Now, I used to come, I'd throw like two, three rods out. But honestly, there's so many fish here. It just becomes kind of like a hassle. You're juggling multiple rods, there's lines all over. It's nice just being able to come out, deal with one rod. This fish does not want to come over that bar. You want a photo or nothing? No, nah, I mean, it's the same fish yeah. over and over. <laughs> Crozy's on. He's got the ugly stick in action. Oh, he woke up. He ate his Wheaties. Same off. Fine specimen. Say cheese. <laughs> okay. Fish was uh, well, uh, took me route holder with me. Huh? Get up here, boy. Oh, this one's got some weight to him. Whoa! Oh, that's a big one. You gotta sell him the bass pro stuff. Oh. It's an estimated like 79 inches. Sounds about right. Right? Ah. <laughs> Alright. That's fish number 782. Going back in the water now. Alright, buddy. Oh. Alright. Where do you go? Where are you? There you go. I think I'm gonna throw a bucktail. Oh, yeah, Johnny. Oh, oh, oh. Nice cold, you do. Oh. Okay. Let's make sure he goes out. You good? All right. I'm gonna go grab a spinning setup, throw an artificial on. See how this thing casts. Yeah, pretty good. This braid definitely sucks though. Let's see if there's any reds out there. All right, so I threw that spoon for like an hour and didn't catch anything. So we're both hungry. We're gonna go eat and then I think we're gonna go actually fish the backwaters. We're gonna maybe try and cast out some bait. See if we can catch something back there. Cause surf fishing, it's great. It's fun, but it gets a little repetitive after a while. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We ate some lunch. I'm gonna go fish some side roads now. Crozy, he's gonna hang back. He's sleepy. Can't keep up, you know, with us youngins. Even though I'm older than he is. <laughs> I think it'd be really cool to catch a big redfish out of one of these little uh, side ditches on these, these roads out here. So we'll see what happens. Like the slack, low tide. There's like zero water movement and it's super low, so. I'm gonna head back, do one more surf session, but I'm not gonna put on waders and all that. I think I'm just gonna try and cast from the beach and see what happens. So I'll probably see you guys out on the beach. All right, so my whole goal is I'm gonna do this without waders. I'm gonna keep my shoes on. I'm gonna cast from the beach and not touch the water.
Yeah, that didn't go that far, so. I mean, it went far, but. Not like super far. We'll see. Oh. Well, I guess you don't have to get out past that bar. I'm gonna land this without getting wet. Guess I'm. There we go. Use the waves. I'm here, buddy. Oh, it's actually really easy. I'm gonna grab this dude. <laughs> Alright, so there he is. Looks like all the other ones. This one's eye. Look at this eye on this side. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. My other rod's going off. I think it's catfish. Look at the eye on this side. It's kind of crazy. This is what a normal eye looks like. I don't know what's going on there, but I'll go get him back in the water. Yeah, so the whole, uh, it's definitely catfish. The whole wearing shoes thing and not getting wet doesn't work because when you go to release the fish, you have to get back in the water no matter what, so. I don't know. That's just a. What is going? What is this? Oh, no, that's a redfish. I'm not even gonna put the big camera on him. I'm just gonna go ahead and unhook him, get him back in the water. No, oh, we're going to go. All right, that's it. I'm gonna pack up, head back to the hotel, and then I think we're just gonna go stop at a couple stores, see if anything's changed with any of the. Local stores, tackle shops, all that. So, probably see you guys in the morning. All right guys, so it's the next morning. Um, this video is gonna be super repetitive if I just keep surf fishing and throwing chunks out and catching redfish, so. I think that's gonna be it for the video, guys. So, see you next time.